Today, we are talking about outboard gear versus plugins. With every project you're working on, you'll likely need to use some signal processing like EQs, compressors, reverb, or some sort of enhancement. This leaves you with two options, plugins or analog outboard gear. Outboard gear has been a major part of professional tracking, mixing, and mastering, but over the years, software plugins have gained a stronghold in the audio community. Companies like SSL, SPL, Universal Audio, and Rupert Neve Designs manufacture some of the best outboard gear available. They've developed these reputations after being used over and over on hit records by major league engineers. Whether it be SPL known for their transient designer or Universal Audio known for their LA-2A compressor, each model has its own unique sound and characteristics, which is what makes outboard gear so desirable. If you're mixing in the box and also using outboard gear while you're mixing in the box, it's a good idea to have outstanding A to D and D to A converters. Companies like Lynx and Merging are known to have a clean, uncolored sound with the ability to convert at 192 kilohertz. When running audio back and forth between the analog domain and the digital domain, the use of quality converters is essential to maintaining the cleanest possible sound. If outboard gear is either out of your budget or you just don't have room for it, high quality plugins can meet your needs. Brainworks, Universal Audio, Waves, SPL, and SSL offer great sounding EQs and compressors, and their mastering plugins are used by professionals all around the world on a regular basis. One nice advantage of using plugins is that they could also be used in multiple instances of your project. So when you buy an SPL Transient Designer as a plugin, you get to use it as on many tracks as you want before running out of processing power. Some plugins are bundled with an add-on DSP card to help keep the strain off the host computer CPU. So make sure you have Thunderbolt or PCIe slots for your DSP technology. Some argue that plugin versions don't really sound exactly like the real thing, but this statement is technically flawed. The manufacturer will go find the best version of the unit that is available to model, and maybe your personal model doesn't sound like the highly regarded one that everybody else is taking measurements of. But in any case, when someone mentions that it's 95% of the way there, but not exact, I remind them that every vintage unit is going to have at least 5% difference in sound after being used for over 20 years. And every voice you record sounds different on the microphone and reacts differently through the processing that you're using. So why does it matter?